Howdy folks, I'm Belligerent Beat, boisterously beating Brash Badgers at Badminton. I'm Amber. And here are more Brash Badgers for us to beat even though we're just beats. I don't know how this is possible, but apparently we have arms and legs and we are badminton pros. Or either that, Badgers just are really terrible at badminton. And folks, there is a live stream coming up on Friday. For more information, please see the end of the video. Let's get started. Alright folks, and our first letter is titled, Am I a jerk for getting mad about cookies when my daughter-in-law tossed them out? So I am a good baker. I enjoy making sweet treats for everyone to enjoy. My daughter-in-law, Emily, is very health conscious and even more so now that she has two kids. She is the type of person who avoids sugars, mostly eats organic, and avoids processed foods. When the grandkids visit, I usually make cookies or something sweet for them to enjoy. Every single time she sees them, she usually goes on about how they are unhealthy. We got into an argument about this a few months ago and about giving the kids junk food. We got into an argument about this a few months ago about not giving the kids junk food. I pointed out that everything was homemade and I'm not only serving them cookies. My son stepped in on this and we compromised that the kids can have one cookie when they are here. Well, this was good for a little while until yesterday. The kids came over last night and I made a batch of cookies. They were on a cooling rack. Emily and my son decided to chat for a bit before heading out. During that time, Emily went into the kitchen and threw away the cookies. When I asked her why she did it, she claimed that she was doing me a favor since they are unhealthy. I told her and I yelled at her, saying that she has no right to throw away the food that I had worked so hard to make. She got defensive and said that she was just trying to help. My son stepped in and told me to calm down, but I was furious. Emily left the room in tears, and my son is saying that I overreacted and that I should apologize. I told my son that I will not be babysitting until he handles this situation, and I will not apologize. All right, folks, what do you think? Not the jerk. I mean, these were OP's cookies in OP's home that she decided to toss out because she knows best. Yeah. You know... It was fine if she wanted to renegotiate the kids having cookies at OP's house, but it's not fine to take OP's cookies and throw them out. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the kids stayed overnight, and so it sounds like they were taking the kids, and were they going to be... Were, were the, had the kids stayed over already and they were taking them home, or were the kids about to stay over? It's a lot of, what I'm a little unclear about. From the way I read it, it sounded like she and Opie's son were going to go off. They just dropped off the kids and she decided to toss the cookies, but I'm not 100% sure. Because it would make more sense if they hadn't spent the night already, right? And that mm -hmm. she was just uh, getting the cookies cooled and then was going to give the kids a cookie, right? Mm -hmm. But I also think that there's some troubling uh, behavior on Emily's part no matter what. And... Like, one, saying that, oh, they're not healthy, making health mm -hmm. decisions for OP, or she doesn't believe OP is only going to give the kids one cookie. Right. Well, if you don't trust someone to take care of your kid, don't leave your kid with them. Yeah. You know, and yeah, I think her, she had, does have a very problematic relationship with food, yeah. classing some foods as good and bad. You know, certainly you don't want your kids gorging themselves on cookies every day, but it needs to be, you know, a moderation thing. You don't treat foods as, like, good or bad. You know, you can explain healthy eating without demonizing certain foods. Yeah, and certainly I think that that's important, right? I mean, the trouble is that there are a lot of uh, processed foods out there that are very unhealthy. So it's not like she's not right about that. Mm -hmm. But she didn't have to be a jerk about how she handled the situation. And kids are going to have to learn how to moderate their eating eventually on their own anyways, mm -hmm. right? And by depriving them of foods that they will likely encounter when they're adults are is not going to help them develop moderation skills no right? it's just going to make them more likely to binge on unhealthy foods when they get older because now they finally get the thing that was denied from them it's the forbidden fruit angle mm -hmm. but let me know what you folks think so anyhow take care and good luck and Agnar Krakenhammer says, not the jerk, Emily is rude. The occasional cookie won't hurt and or kill the kids. The occasional cookie won't hurt or kill the kids. And OP replies, she acts like I'm poisoning them. It's a cookie. I'm also mad since those were my cookies for the week. Chocolate chip with stuffed peanut butter inside. Also, I think that her relationship with food is unhealthy. Edit, I use this recipe. So... 
I'll try to remember to post that recipe for anyone who's interested. All right, folks, and our next letter is titled, Am I a Jerk for Being Angry at My Boyfriend's Behavior for the Two Fries That I Took From His Plate? Me and my boyfriend have been together for almost two years. I will be honest and say that my boyfriend doesn't like sharing food. Throughout the years, I have taken a couple of fries off of his plate and only fries. I never get myself a full portion of fries because I'm not able to finish it. It fills me up too quickly and then I'm unable to finish my meal. I don't like wasting food, so I steal a couple from his plate. He's never gotten really angry about it with me, but whenever I take a couple of his fries from his plate, he will look at me and say, please don't touch my food. He has never shouted or made an argument about it, and I have never taken food from his plate after he asks me to stop. I understand him not wanting to share his food with someone, but I'm his girlfriend. We live together, and that should be different with me, or am I wrong as we share everything else? Like I said, after he asked me to stop, I would stop. He has told me that he doesn't like it when people touch his food, but I'm not just people. Yesterday, I sent him a message and asked what he wanted to eat for dinner as I would be home early and he asked if I could make steak and fries as he was craving it and I agreed to make the food. When he got home, I fixed him a plate and we sat at the table to eat. I didn't make myself fries. Rather, I made myself a steak and salad. I leaned over and I took two fries off of his plate again and he looked at me and asked are you serious right now i was a bit stunned as he's never said anything like that to me before before i was able to say anything he just stood up and pushed his plate of food to the side and off the table he then grabbed his keys and he walked out of the house i don't remember exactly how long i sat at the table before getting up this is completely new behavior i got up and i cleaned up the mess he got back home a little while after and had a McDonald's with him. He sat down in the living room and started to eat. I was angry. He wasted the food that I made, wasted money on unnecessary food rather than eat what I made, what he even asked for, and made a mess that I had to clean up. I confronted him and told him that he owes me an apology for wasting food that I made for him and the mess that he made that I had to clean up. He looked at me and told me just to go away and not to disturb him while I was eating. I am mad. Taking two fries from a plate doesn't warrant this behavior. Even tonight, I again, after I cooked us dinner and I thought that we could talk over everything while I was having a meal, he hasn't even really spoken to me since last night. He didn't even sleep in our bed last night and he slept in the spare room. He came home with takeout again and refused to eat what I made. I asked him to join me at the table and he just said no. I got really mad and I told him such. He just said, well, I don't care, and to get over it. I told him that he is a jerk, and he laughed and told me to go look in the mirror if I wanted to see a jerk. And then he just continued to eat his burger. All right, folks, what do you think? Jerk or not the jerk? Everyone's in the wrong here. Now, OP has consistently been a jerk for a very long time. Her partner tried to set a boundary, saying, yep. hey, I don't want you eating my food off my plate. And OP has continually violated it because she thinks she doesn't have to obey her bound his boundaries. Mm -hmm. That is not a healthy relationship right yeah, there. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you think that someone's, you know, uh, desire to have their own food is ridiculous. It's still something they're allowed to set. You know, p different people have different feelings around food. You know, I'm more of a Joey doesn't share kind of girl. And so I definitely understand where he's getting coming from, where OP's just taking food off his plate, not even bothering to ask repeatedly ignoring his you know t i'm politely asking her not to uh, and it seems like because he didn't blow up she seems it's oh it's all okay because he didn't like yell at me yeah i mean i think that's really what what op doesn't seem to understand is when he says don't take food off my plate he means never take food off my plate and she just thinks for some reason it means don't take my food food off my plate again today right yeah. and it isn't a today thing it's a lifetime thing never take food off of his plate well it's Oh, sorry. And she just continues to push this boundary. It's almost like she even just thinks it's funny that yeah. he's trying to set this boundary. But, and I understand this has been, the resentment has probably been building up for a long time. It's still not okay to 
push the plate on the floor like that yeah was not an acceptable reaction he was within his right to remove himself from the situation totally um and i i mean honestly if he wants to end the relationship that's fine too but you shouldn't resort to the point of like breaking things and whatnot yeah it's unclear to me whether or not it was an accident or not that he pushed the food on the floor i mean it sounds like he may it could either be that he purposely did it or that he was just pushing it aside and it, he just was too aggressive and it fell to the ground. It doesn't really matter either way, right? He shouldn't be smashing stuff on the ground and he shouldn't be, you know, so mad that he throws things around, right? And I mean, throwing in the, you know, uh, uh, alliteration sense, right? And he, not alliteration sense, but in the uh, <laughs> metaphorical sense, rather. And... I think that this is one of the situations where he really should have ended this relationship sooner mm -hmm. with the boundary violations. And I think that she has a deal breaker with him where she wants a partner who shares food and he has a boundary that he doesn't want people touching food that he has. And this sounds like a fundamental incompatibility to me. Like, mm -hmm. I don't think there's any salvaging this relationship because I think they're on a different page. No, they are. And it, fe it also feels like, too, Opie's like, well, I'm ma the one, because I, I think the reason why he's getting takeout now is like, she's the one making the food. And so she feels like she has a right to do whatever she wants with it. Instead of setting her two fries aside yeah. on a separate plate, she plates them up on his plate and takes them. Like, yeah. if she just wanted two fries, there's nothing stopping her from plating two fries. Well, and that's it, right? This could have been easily, like, completely avoided if she had just put two fries on her plate to begin with instead of taking them off of his plate. And it would have been no problem to do that, but she chose to do it a different way. I don't know. But let me know what you folks think. So anyhow, take care and good luck. And RSTWT says you're the jerk. If you wanted two fries, you should have put two fries on your plate. Putting the fries on his plate and then reaching over and taking some is a sign of controlling. You are claiming that everything he has is yours. And Opie replies, we literally share everything as we live together. What's his is mine and what's mine is his. And that doesn't matter when it comes to boundaries, right? Like if somebody has a boundary, you don't get to violate that boundary even if you're living with them, right? There are plenty of boundaries that people are allowed to have in relationships. Right, and even if you're living under the same roof, you're still allowed to have your own private stuff. Like mm. what's mine is yours and yours is mine doesn't mean literally every single thing. Like I have things I own, you know, Brian has things he owns and like, it doesn't mean like we have free reign over each other's stuff. If Brian wants to rip up my Pokemon cards, like it's not his prerogative. He can't just be like, well, technically they're mine too because we're married. Yeah. And or like sell stuff, right? Yeah. I mean, like, I think that would be more likely, but <laughs> I wouldn't rip them up. It would be I a was... waste of money. <laughs> I just sell them all. But no, yeah. I mean, I think that there's certainly like a uh, weird thing she has going on in her mind where she believes that she's entitled to everything that he has and she doesn't see a problem with this and I think that that really kind of shows that she probably should look for a therapist mm -hmm. and stick chick 77 says do you share each other's underwear too do you share your toothbrushes and opier says now you're just being ridiculous that's the logical extreme though and koi gobbler says you're the jerk He's expressed a boundary and has asked you to stop on numerous occasions, but you continue to do it. It doesn't matter if you think that you're not just anyone and it's not a big deal. He doesn't like it and you don't respect him enough to stop. And Opie replies, I do respect my boyfriend. It's just two fries. I don't understand the big deal. If I took the whole plate from him, I would understand, but two from a full plate. It's just the principle, OP. It's a boundary he set. It doesn't matter. Well, and, and she very clearly, her actions show she doesn't respect him. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't have to understand someone's boundary to not trample on it. Yeah. And Gem Glamour and Glitter says, You're the jerk. 
if you knew that you would only want two fries, why not make two fries just for your, yourself and then put them on your own plate? I think that your two fries steal is deliberate. If you know he's going to get mad, why not just stop? Stop making it about the principle and do better. And OP replies, I made the fries and put everything on his plate. I didn't want any fries when I fixed our plates, only until we sat down at the table. I wanted just two fries out of a whole plate. So just literally like only after you sat down and suddenly they were on his plate you had the temptation that you're like i just can't live without these two fries yeah i mean it's, it seems very deliberate at this point in time like if you know you're prone to wanting two fries you know or some fries set aside a portion for you and if you don't eat them you can like save them for later yeah but then she might have to waste food amber <laughs> well. All right, folks, and our next letter is titled, Am I a Jerk for Cleaning Out the Medicine Cabinet? I'm a 57-year-old male, and I've been married to my wife, a 52-year-old female, for 30 years. Today, while my wife was at work, I decided to clean out the medicine cabinet. I noticed that there were a lot of medications that were expired and a lot of repeats. For example, we had four bags of cough drops, three bottles of ibuprofen, etc. I decided to throw away the expired medications and throw away the extras. As I did so, I made a video of the process and I pointed out the expirations on all of the medications and pointed out the repeats. I videoed myself throwing these items away and explained calmly why these medications needed to be monitored more closely in the future. The video was about three minutes long. I then sent the video to my wife so that she could see what I did. I was surprised when she called me back very upset, asking why I hated her so much. She accused me of trying to shame her and said that she couldn't understand why I was being so hateful. She told me that if I had been so concerned about our medication cabinet that I should have been monitoring it on a daily or weekly basis and that if I was that concerned about cleaning out the medication cabinet, I would have just done it without making a shame video. I told her that I'm not attempting to shame her, but rather inform her. She told me that she showed the video to her co-workers and they agreed with her that I was a jerk. So who's right? Am I the jerk? All right, folks, what do you think? Yes, you're the jerk. This feels very passive aggressive. Does every time she like sweeps the floor or cleans the counter, point out stains and be like, oh, look, we should really be on top of this. Like, it just seems very targeted. Opie, yeah. it's your house. You can clean out the medicine cabinet if you want, but there's no point in like making some big shame video out of it. Why yeah. did you have to send this to her? Dude just figured out that they have a medicine cabinet and found out, was completely shocked by it. <laughs> He's like, I don't remember a medicine cabinet here before. And then looks through it and is like, there's so much medication in here. No, I, I mean, I just think it's such a bizarre thing for him to have done. Like, it, it basically is like, pointing a finger at her and blaming mm -hmm. her for mm -hmm. all the expired medications when like you said there are two people in this household he can pull his weight and clean out the medication cabinet as well and if he was really this worried why did it take him so much time to clean out the medication well, cabinet exactly and like i'm assuming he probably uses some of those medications as well so you know he can always keep on top of the expiration dates if that's mm -hmm. something that's really important to him it's not like having an expired medicine cabinet is like sure it's not great if you need medication but it's not like it's you know cluttering up the entire house or something it seems like he's making a much bigger deal out of this than it needs to be yeah and acting like his wife should be the one to do all the cleaning yeah so I think that op is in the wrong here i think that this was you know passive aggressive if not outright aggressive but let me know what you folks think. So anyhow, take care and good luck. And Timely Egg 6827 says, you're the jerk. You live in the house. You walk past the medical cabinet every single day. You evidently don't buy the medicines because otherwise you have known better what was in there. So why did you decide one day just to clean it out and make the point of filming yourself doing it? I also hope that you disposed of the medications carefully by taking them back to the pharmacy or did you just pour them down the sink and you disposed of the extras, perfectly good medicines because you felt a sudden need for just one bottle? You didn't need to do all this rigmarole to clean out one cupboard. You could have just said, dear, I cleaned out the cupboard. We had a quite a lot of old medications, need to do this more often and take on that kind of responsibility your wife is right you are trying to shame her or be very thick about how your actions would be perceived 
though now that you're spring cleaning maybe go and do one of the canned foods or the freezer sure they're not up to code either because it's not a priority of a daily task so it's perfect for someone who seems to think that those are someone else's problem all right folks it is tea time grab your beverages of choice i've got some tea right here and amber she has a joke it's going to be a rotten vacation when no one can figure out why the water in the swimming pool turns your skin purple and green well that would be the last time i go swimming <laughs> in a swimming pool like that let me tell you it would also be the beginning of a very long lawsuit and i have mega mint all right, folks, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Happy, wonderful, wacky Wednesday, folks. I hope your Wednesday is off to a great start. Amber, we need some kind of moral advice and or guidance. And please, have it a haiku for Haiku Wednesday. Have respect for your family's boundaries and don't send them shaming vids. Yeah, I mean, I think that works. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.